Hi everyone, welcome to my haul and I went to Big Lots, Dollar General, Rue 21, Rite Aid and I also went to a kiosk in the mall and I'm just going to start with that, excuse me, because I got the iPhone 5S and I got the one in gold, so that is what it looks like. So it's so exciting. A lot of the reasons I have, I use this, I've had the Samsung Galaxy 3S or S3. And now, and the reason why I wanted the iPhone is because I wanted the gold one. And I didn't know they had it in Samsung, but I don't think they do because at AT&T they told me they didn't. So I'm really excited about the new phone. So, I got some cases for it, of course, and this is the first one that I got, and that's what it looks like. It's just a girl at the Eiffel Tower, so I love that. Right now, the one I have on it, it has a clear back, and then it just has like a black, I think they call this a bumper, but it is a case to protect the phone. And I didn't put a lot on my phone like I had on the Samsung phone because I don't want to have like so much on this phone. I just have the basics. basics. Like um, I have YouTube, Keek, Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, Pixart, Flip, Flipagram, Emoji Key, Textagram, and Yellow Pages. And that is it. I don't know if you can see that. It looks really glary. And then I just have everything it comes with on the front. So I'm really excited about this. So I got lots of cases already. So I'm just going to start with the Rue 21. Because I went in there to get new cases for the phone. So I got this case. And this just says forever and always and it has the Eiffel Tower and hearts so I thought that was really pretty and then I got this one I'm going to take it out of the package so that you can see it good it just says love and it has pink bling and a bow so I love that I think the next color that Apple should come out with with the phones is rose gold. I would definitely buy that one, a rose gold one. That would be so pretty. Okay, then I will do, I think I'm going to do Dollar General just because I got some more phone cases from Dollar General. So, I had to actually take um, one of the cases back because I accidentally got the 4, 4S case. But this case is the 5 and I couldn't get the same one that I wanted. It was like a hot pink with the white hearts. But I got this case instead. And this is um, a damask pattern I think it's called in like a very light um, hot pink and black background. So I got that one. And then me and my son got some goodies in the Impulse Owl while we were standing in line. So I got peanut M&M's. And I got the Orbit White Sugar-Free Gum. And this is in Bubble Mint. I really love this flavor. He got plain M&M's. And then I saw this and I wanted to get it. I hope this is like got that the flavor like the old school Bubblicious had. But this is in strawberry grape and sour apple. And it looks like that. And I have a gum problem. Like when I am on the computer, I have I'm always chewing gum <laughs> or watching a movie or something like that. Okay, and to continue on with the Dollar General. I got this case and this is just like a turquoise color and these cases are five dollars at Dollar General and then it's like a little wristlet 
and it looks like this on the inside you can put your cards you can put some something in this pocket then you can put your phone here in this pocket and this is for the for the four and the five so that is cute I love this pattern I love I think like I with the animal prints and things you know I like the animal print pattern but I think it's because of this color that drew me to this case and like that one I got this one and this is just black with white polka dots and it's a wristlet too so you can just you know if you're going to the store this will be great you can just put throw your phone in you can throw your license in you can put like maybe some cash here or your credit card so these will be we are great for something like that you know just you need to run out the door real quick or something just a quick stop and then i used my last of my other aussie three minute miracle today so i got this one and this is called three minute minute miracle moist it's three times the moisture in three minutes so i cannot wait to try that i'm actually going to try the salon selectives for may but after that i'm definitely going to go back to this one i do like these and i do want to keep trying it i want to see if i'm going to tell a difference i can't like right now, I'm not able to tell a difference, but I want to keep trying it. I do have see a slight difference, uh, a good difference. So, yeah. Then I got this case, and this is just a hard case, and it just says love. And it's in black with a white love written on it. Uh-oh. I got the same. I did buy this case. I'm going to have to exchange this again. So that is the same case that we've already seen. I'm going to have to exchange that for a different case. So you will see that case in a future haul if I can find one. I think I know which one I'm going to get. Okay, also in Dollar General, I got some Easter stuff. some Easter decorations for next year. So this is one of the ones that I got and this is a, Mickey, a bunny Mickey. And if you know this, I have a fall Mickey and Minnie. So this is gonna be really cute. I would've got the Christmas Mickey and Minnie that they sell to, but the problem was it was dirty. These are for Easter next year. And here's the mini one. Let me fix her ears. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, at least that was easily fixed. Okay, so there's what the mini looks like. They are a little bit tacky. <laughs> I think I like the fall ones better, but I think these are just cute to have for the holidays. And then I did not have an e a, a Easter wreath for my door, so I purchased, let me see if I can like flip it out a little bit. I purchased this wreath. And hopefully you can see that it has a little bow right there. And the flowers and the eggs. I like this one. Um, it has got a lot going on. But I think it's got a lot going on but in a subtle way I think. So I like this one too. So this will be on my door next Easter. And that is all that I got from Dollar General. And now we, I'll show you what I got at Big Lots. So I went to a new Big Lots. Not a new Big Lots, but one that is 
far further away from where I live. And the first thing that I got was the Fleur de Lis, which I'm probably not saying that right. This is our impression of the Rebel Fleur by Rihanna. Probably am not saying that right at all, but this is what the box looks like. And I will open it up and show you what the bottle looks like. What I do is I spray the fragrance on myself and I walk around the store a little bit. And then if I really like that fragrance, then I'll buy it. But they had some opened already. I don't think they were testers. I think other customers opened them. Oh no, this one's broke. This one, the thing is broken. But that's okay. But this is what the bottle looks like. It has like a sweet, musty. I always say musty. Oh my gosh. Musky. <laughs> it has a sweet, musky fragrance. And it smells really good. So if you like those type fragrances, then you will like this. I don't think you can really tell that this one fell off when you put the lid on it. So, love that. I think this is more of a, like, fall and winter scent, maybe. But I'm pretty sure you can pull it off in this in the springtime. And then I saw this, and I really wanted to try it. And this is the Elf Mineral Must Haves. It's a two-piece mineral foundation set, and this is in the color Light. And you get a brush. So, I'm kind of addicted to foundations right now for some reason. And I still have at least another one that I want to purchase. And then I got this. This is for a... It says 7 inch tablet iPad mini case. It can fit the iPad mini and I got it for my Kindle. And I just thought this was just a really, really cute for spring and summer. I think these flowers are called daisies. And this is what the inside looks like. And you just put your, I think this is to close it so that it stays secure. And then these little, there's like little elastic on each corner like this. And then you can secure your Kindle or your iPad or your Nook or whatever you want to put in here. So this is just a really, really cute. And I don't mean, I don't have to use this for spring and summer. I would use this all year round because I love the little flower pattern. And the last thing that I got at Big Lots was this little stationery set it's a pen pencil and a pad and it has 75 sheets and i'm going to take this clear okay so it come i'm going to take this clear cover off but it come it's going to be in a box like the box is going to can close like this so that's the back of it and see the little birds and it says hello and as soon as I can get this clear, yeah, there we go. I will show you. So there's the set. And there's the paper with the little birds. And then the pen and the pencil on, are on each side. And they're really, really small. They, this one says hope. And, yeah, this is the, this looks identical. Whoops, that was the pen that I just dropped. And then this is the pencil. And then you have your little notepad with the bird that, say, that says hello. Like this. So, I love little notepads and pens to write things down. So, I'm going to love that. And then the last place is Rite Aid. And I was going into Rite Aid to look for the limited edition Wet n Wild palettes. I can never find them. I've only found one, and I think I found it at Big Lots.
but I'm st I always look for them. But anyways, I decided to get um, a couple palettes that I do not have by Wet n Wild. And hopefully, I don't have a hard time opening these so I can show you the colors. And maybe do some swatches. I s the Wet n Wild is just hard to get into. They may... Okay. I think I'm okay so here's the first one that I got this one is called the naked truth and it has a base coat a brow bone a definer an eyelid color and a crease color and I'm gonna swatch them these colors are really really pretty I love those colors so let me Let me swatch them. I have heard that the newer palettes aren't as good. Well, but I think that looks really nice so far. I think these are nice too. I think these are just as nice as the other ones that I've had. So there's the swatches. So, so far, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to like this one. And this is just a nice, natural colors. And then I got the Petal Pusher. And I'm going to open this. At, um, I'm not a fan of the purple colors. So, at first, I wasn't going to get this one. But then, the pink colors, like, drew me in to this palette. So that's why. So that is what it looks like. And the purple colors are pretty. I'm just not into purple. Like, I like this kind of purple. Like, the more um, darker purples. But the light purples and the pastel purples, not that much. But these, this side of the palette drew me in. And I think I said this is called Petal Pusher. So I'm just going to swatch um, this side. Oops. So there's the swatches. They are really pretty. They are shimmery every single one of them and this one I think the base color is like a matte color but the other colors are shimmery well that the brown color isn't shimmery and that is everything that I've got so I hope you enjoy watching Bye.